So what I'm going to show you here is how to prepare a geometry uh, for a bladder design. So I'm going to start here with this SVG that I have of this octopus. I'm going to simplify this geometry by uh, releasing the compound path and removing the eye geometries. I'm then going to rename this main geometry the bladder geometry. And uh, then I'm going to specify a line that represents the tube that goes inside the bladder. So I'm, I'm calling this air tube 4, and this is used to tell the system the outer diameter of the tube. So in this case, it's going to be a 1 fourth inch outer diameter. Uh, as a nicety, I'm just going to rearrange this artboard so that it, um, the artboard fits the, um, the components. And lastly, I'm going to export this as an SVG. So the only two geometries that we need in order for us to generate uh, the geometries for a bladder design or bladder mold are this bladder and air tube geometry. So what you see here is the silosine tool. It has some geometries already in place. I'm going to do shift delete to clear all elements from the canvas. Uh, then I'm going to drag and drop our octopus file that we just made. I'm going to select both the geometries and then I'm going to type one, two, and three. And what this does is it generates all the necessary geometries to make a mold for our bladder design. Uh, you can switch between one and three to see two different views, the outline view and the stylized view. Um, I'm going to switch back to the outline view and download this file. And with this, we'll have everything we need to make our 3D model. We created the 3D model using Fusion 360. You'll notice that we have a base geometry with two stepping walls. So I'll refer to that as a step and the main wall. So to begin with, what we do is we hit Insert SVG, and I'm going to select that file that we just uh, made uh, from the silosine tool. Then I'm going to specify 1.33 scale. This is a bug in Fusion 360 when importing SVGs. First, I'm going to make the step wall geometry. So I select the registration site and I extrude by two millimeters. Then I'm going to get this outer wall and I'm gonna extrude by four millimeters. And lastly, I'm going to select all this geometries except the bounding box. And lastly, extrude this by negative two. This will form the base of the mold. And so once we extrude that, you can see that uh, this mold has two levels, and we're going to be using that to create our final bladder geometry. The last step here is that I'm going to export this as an STL. I'm going to call this mold. And we're going to 3D print this and uh, make our mold next.